Today, as you embark on your journey to become a pharmacist, I have four areas of advice for you that helped me succeed to where I am today. First, networking is key, and that starts for you today. Connections and positive recommendations have led me to each of my positions throughout my career. During my P4 year, I was fortunate to be chosen by NDSU to complete a rotation at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota at one of their outpatient pharmacies. While on rotation, I stayed with a pharmacist who was also an NDSU grad. I knew her because I took over her intern position when she left for rotations. She in turn, along with her coworkers that I worked with during this rotation, recommended me for a job opening at the completion of pharmacy school. While working as a staff pharmacist at the Mayo Clinic, I floated to all of the outpatient pharmacies, making connections along the way and learning valuable lessons about health system pharmacy. Later on in my career, a former pharmacy classmate of mine who had moved into leadership at Stanford reached out to me regarding an opportunity that is now my current position. Two of my pharmacy classmates actually sat on that interview panel. Networking starts in pharmacy school and never stops. Join school organizations, learn from pharmacists through internships or state organizations anywhere you can and grow your network now as you never know where a connection will take you. Second area, never give up and don't sell yourself short. I wouldn't be here today telling you about my unique career path if I'd given up pursuing something new early on in my career because I was first told no. In search for further growth opportunities, I applied not once, but three times for a staff pharmacist position at the Mayo Clinic Specialty Pharmacy. I wasn't the top pick those first two times, but the third time my now former boss came to me requesting I apply and that he wanted to hire me. Of course, it was disappointing those first two times not receiving the job, but I kept working hard and finding ways to improve that so when the time was right, I, I would be the best fit. When I joined the team, I was able to make an immediate impact because I had brought a unique perspective to the practice others had didn't have before, as I had worked in all of the outpatient pharmacies directly interacting with the specialty pharmacy. After a few years staffing and expressing interest in further ambulatory positions, I was given a unique opportunity to join the solid organ transplant MTM team who directly interacted with the specialty pharmacy through transitions of care for pre and post transplant patients. I was the only non-resident trained pharmacist on the MTM transplant team. And once again, I brought a unique perspective of understanding the specialty pharmacy's role in a patient's healthcare journey. If I had given up after that first no, I wouldn't have gained, gained the knowledge and experiences that led me to my current position that I love. Third area, find your passion. And it's okay if your passion changes. Never in a million years did I think I would start a pharmacy practice. That was never a goal of mine, let alone start a specialty pharmacy or recently speak on a national panel regarding starting a specialty pharmacy. During my pharmacy school days, I knew nothing about this area of pharmacy, and now it has become my passion. In two years, I have grown my pharmacy practice from a corner office, myself as a single employee managing just 30 patients, to now a team of 12 staff managing over 600 patients on high cost specialty medications. During this time, I've also grown a practice that is focused on putting the patient first, providing an exceptional pharmacy experience, and instilling a passion of this work into my staff, as well as the residents and rotation students who have worked with us. And in the future, I am excited to share this unique pharmacy practice with our pharmacy interns joining our team. If you are passionate about something, others will work hard for you and your patients will notice the difference. In turn, you will make a difference in their lives and your own life as well. Fourth and finally, be accepting the change and learn to adapt to it. COVID has impacted all of us in many different ways, causing everything and everyone to shift and change. The world of pharmacy is ever changing, especially in light of COVID, and we have to be willing to change with it for the best of our patients, always putting them as our top priority. That is why you have chosen healthcare, because you wanna make a difference in your patients' lives. Right now, many of you may have an idea of what area of pharmacy you want to practice in, be it retail, hospital, ambulatory, you may even be thinking you wanna complete a residency. 
even if you were me as a ninth grader saying you were going to be a retail pharmacist because that is the area you first fell in love with, make sure you expand your horizons now during pharmacy school. The profession of pharmacy has so many career paths available, many of them you most likely aren't even aware of yet. I bet most of you haven't heard or even know what a specialty pharmacy does. Everyone on this stage has had their own unique experiences leading to where they are today. Explore as many paths as you can until you find your passion. And always remember, we are all pharmacists and all of our career paths intertwine and depend on each other to provide the best care for our patients. Find the path that is best for you and never forget why you chose to become a pharmacist.